Welcome to the Nomadic Ink Channel. I'm James Showers, cleanest name in the biz, and today I am joined with Yo Cheng. We're going to be doing a review on this deodorant from the Black Stuff, and this is an all naturals in nature review number four. In these product reviews, we're going to do a few things. We'll do an up close look at the label, the product, dive into some information, scent notes, try the product, and give our opinion at the end. So if you're ready, Yo Cheng, are you ready? I'm ready. Grab your favorite pit stick and let's enjoy the show. We get the Black Stuff logo along with the name on the front of these solid deodorant containers. On the back we get a list of ingredients. Now these do come out very easy and each one of these had a nice solid pour. The deodorant ingredients are listed on the screen right here and we will move on to the scent notes. Black Stout's gonna have your cedar wood, clove, black pepper, and some fir. Their Atlantic Pine scent is going to be complex with some basil, spearmint, sweet orange, pine, lavender, ginger, and some clove. Both of these deodorants are natural, earthy scents that I'm sure any guy would enjoy. Welcome back from that up close look at the label, product, info. Now we have two different scents here because right now, currently, this is what they offer. I have been trying the Black Stout, which is a very good scent. I actually enjoy this more than I did the scent of the soap. Both are good, but this one definitely shines. Um, you want to give this guy a sniffer? Oh wow, fresh, yeah. fresh. It's got some spicy tones to it. It smells really good. I pick up tea tree, <laughs> but there's no tea tree. Yeah, we looked at the ingredients here, the notes, and it's got some fur, it's got some clove, it's got some cedar wood, and it's got some black pepper. Definitely getting that clove, add some spicy notes. We got some uh, sportsmen shooting in the background, so hopefully that's not upsetting you guys in this video. It smells really fresh and nice. I don't know how to explain it. It's like the forest, like pine and like tea trees, some kind of stuff. I think I will use it in the summer. All right, so this guy freshens you up pretty well. I enjoy the scent. I've been using it for a while, and uh, it's been working. I so, can't wait to see this one. This one right here, I smelled both of these, and... I wasn't a big fan of this right away. Their Atlantic Pine is more of a grower than a shower. We noticed that with the uh, bar of soap. It, it didn't really like resonate with us, but then after we kind of used it and tried it in the shower, it became one of the one of the soaps we liked the most. I'll push this up a little well, bit for you. Well, it's like a green or gray. This one's almost, yeah, like a... Little green? Little green, little gray, little beige. I don't uh, know. Oh, it's wait, a, hold on. Really That's what I'm telling you. It's a grower. It's not a shower. Ooh. Oh my goodness. You're going to have to take a couple scents off this or sniffs off wow. this and really kind of take it in because at first it kind of just hits you with a, whoa, what was that? Yeah. Uh, but if you're no. a fan of the pine, the pine tar scents, this one's going to really nail it for you. It's one guy making all of these products right now and he's doing a great job. Um, we do mm. have one of their limited edition scents and if you want to see a review on this, let me know in the comments down below, but this one... Can I comment ooh. on this? Yes. I think some guys said like really many. That's what they will use. I can't use it for me, like it is really many. So he's got ginger oil, he has some clove in this one as well, some spearmint, lavender, sweet orange, and some basil. Wow. Basil yeah, he's got some uh, unique scents in there. Oh, and he's got the pine. Can't leave the pine out. So this one's a cool, unique blend. It's yeah, got its own unique bit. scent going on there, but um, it's 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 too woodsy for me. This one is the sweet spot for me. I really like this uh, spice here. What are you thinking? Compared mm -hmm. to that one, I mean, you'd use this that one. That one's strong. But that one's more of a manly tone, and I this can, one's neutral, yeah. maybe? Or? I can think that can be, like, for, like, girls that's not too girly, but neutral kind of girl. Probably like that, too. I can use that. Yeah. Definitely some great scents. The deodorant worked well. It's a good, fresh pour. You're supporting a small business, which I think is cool. And uh, this bar of soap, you outdid yourself here, John. This one's, it's lovely. Like I said, we will do a review on this later. If you guys comment down below and let me know you'd like to see a review on this. And uh, we may even give this cool little limited edition sticker out. You know, I don't know. We'll figure oh. something out. 
I noticed the black stuff, they have really like a, not just like neutral, natural scent, they blend the spice really well. Yeah. That's the, I really like these brand this way because they blend it really well with the spice. Yeah, if you're interested in unique scents and some great soap, um, I would suggest taking a look at the black stuff for the soap. If you're looking for a new all natural deodorant with, once again, some great scents, either a, a really manly, woodsy tone or something like this that could be, uh, you know, a gender neutral, good spice to it. Yeah. I can almost see maybe even going out, like having this good little spice to you. Cause I know when I wear this, it comes up through my shirt and I just get this nice aroma of warm spice. Yeah, it was, it was I would say spice. Really well crafted. Yeah, his stuff is full of spice, New natural spice. We are off of the trail out here in, um, well, I think this is English Point. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this all natural and nature review. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoy these reviews. If you'd like to, uh, you know, just see us do stuff in the studio. Um, it is Absolutely. snowing out just slightly. So, uh, you know, we put a little sacrifice in this video just for you. If you feel inclined, go ahead and leave a like. You can subscribe if you want to. Uh, most of you already know how YouTube works. This isn't your first uh, video. Anything else you'd like to add to it's this? It started to snow. We should go. It's coming. It's, it's snow. <laughs> Gotta go. We'll see you on the next video. Have a good uh, weekend or whatever. Have a good day, good night, good morning. Whoa. Good life. Have a good life. Peace.